Hello, this is uh, Tom and Chris, we're those film guys. Welcome to another trailer breakdown, or should I say multiple trailer breakdowns, because we today we'll be looking at three trailers, The Hobbit, Iron Man 3, and The Evil Dead Remake, the Red Band trailer that's just come been released for that. So with it, uh, let's get started with The Hobbit's new trailer. And to start with, I think we should go into what we both thought about the uh, the trailer itself. Chris, would you like to start us off? Yeah, I'm really excited, especially, I know I've said this a few times, that Lord of the Rings is my favourite film of all time, I see all three as one. So, just it's just seeing this, just seeing Middle Earth again on the big screen, and just giving this taster, it, it just looks amazing. Um, not sure about the comedic tone. I know that the book is a lot more light-hearted than The Lord of the Rings, and that may detract from me liking it better than or equal to Lord of the Rings, but I, I still think it looks amazing. And just seeing these characters and the world back again. Yeah, I, I, I well, my opinion is that I'm under the impression that I, I, I dislike Martin Freeman quite heavily. I think he's a wet blanket yeah, whenever well. he's on screen. He's not very, he's not very, very, very likable presence, and I just don't particularly think he can act at all. So, um, and I also don't, I also then the comedic elements. I mean, it, it is a lot more light-hearted book. Um, the comedic elements are there, and. But I also don't. I also find the use of really heavy CG, CGI a bit of a, a bit of a distraction. And I, I know, of course, the original Lord of the Rings trilogy had heavy, massive amounts of CGI, but it was blended in such a way where it where you could perceive it as reality. Um, and fa and and it does. It, and it did have that element of fantasy. Um, in this, it just seems like they're using. CGI to me it doesn't seem like it's blended very well but of course that's judging from the from the trailers alone um so I'll have to see the film before I can really make an a make a judgment on it um yeah I did notice that myself it does seem a lot more cleaner and a lot more you know clinical than the lord of the rings perhaps did um yeah I can see where you're coming from there um I don't think the that's particularly a problem. I mean, they're still using practical elements. They're still using costume and makeup and and stuff like that. So I think we'll have to see the entire film as a whole before we can comment on that. But yeah, um, highest praise from me from this new trailer. Um, seeing Gollum again in the trailer was a particular highlight, and that whole end shot with the um, rock giants on the mountain that. That to me looks absolutely breathtaking. I can't wait to see that on the big screen. Yeah, um, it it just gets a meh from me, a pass. You know, that's all I can really really say about it. It doesn't it doesn't entice me the way the first trailer did. I have yeah, I have to say that the um, the soundtrack used in this trailer didn't excite me as much as the um, the dwarven song from the first trailer did. So um, maybe if that song had been blended with this one. It, hey, it would have been a better trailer, but I, I still like the trailer. I like I like both in different ways, to be yeah. honest. Um, so is is that? Uh, do you have anything else to add to that, or should we? No, move on? I, th I think we've covered it. Yep. Okay. Let's move on.